any of you who've read my blog with any frequency at all are probably well aware that I live in Portland. And I love Portland. Uh, you know, it's like kind of a little bastion of civilization. And I'm really proud to call it my home. And I'm even happier about the particular neighborhood of Portland that I live in. Uh, in my neighborhood, you can go anywhere you want to. You can walk anywhere. You can catch a bus. You know, it's, it's a good place to be. You can get anything you want in my neighborhood. Except for one thing. And I guess it started out as a little quirk, and I thought it was something that I could, could deal with and accept. But in the last few months, it's kind of grown into a problem for me. Let me just show you. Hold on. tried this. Uh, hold on. I'm skewering Mr. Colbert there, but it's, uh, it's Ben and Jerry's ice cream, but it's Stephen Colbert's Americone Dream. It's really good ice cream. I've had some ice cream. Had lots of ice cream. I used to live near this place that I thought had the best ice cream in the world, but I really love this ice cream. And my grocery store. Oh. I'm sorry. My grocery store, they carry fish food. And they carry Chunky Monkey. And they have like 17 billion other flavors of ice cream all in their ice cream case. But every time I try to go buy the American Dream, there isn't any there. It's gone. They had it once. And it, they, I haven't seen it there since. And I at first started to think that it was because it was so addictive and everybody was buying it. So I just was out of luck and every time I got there they were out of stock. But then I noticed that the case didn't have a little tag. You know the little tag? It used to be here between the Cherry Garcia and the Willie Nelson Peach Cobbler. There was the Americone Dream right there. And I realized that there was no little tag in the case. So what I'm trying to figure out is if it's some kind of conspiracy to deprive hardworking Portlanders and me of, of this really good ice cream um, because that would be sad. Mm. Or, or if it's some sort of secret undercover boycott of my neighborhood because Mr. Colbert once referred to Oregon as California's Canada and then there was the time that he referred to us as Washington's Mexico. And I, I think some people might be a little bit upset about that. I really don't see what the big problem is. And as far as I'm concerned, he can say anything he wants to about us as long as we still get to eat the ice cream. But, um, mm. I guess what I'm saying is I'm wondering if everyone can kind of just get over it and whatever the problem is, we can just make it go away so that my grocery store can start carrying the ice cream and I don't have to cry and whine to Mr. Chaos on his way home to work to smuggle it home for me like some sort of stolen contraband. So, can you guys work on that? And, you know, tell me what you come up with. Thanks!